Hey, it's uh, David Domine, the Bluegrass Peasant, and I am in my kitchen getting ready to whip up a batch of what uh, I think are probably one of my all-time favorite uh, appetizers or hors d'oeuvres, and they're deviled eggs. I really love how in the last uh, five, ten years, deviled eggs have kind of made a, a resurgence, you know. Uh, for a number of years, it seems like they fell out of fashion, but today, a lot of restaurants are serving them. They're not just serving them for hors d'oeuvres and appetizers, they're serving them for breakfast. So I have a number of different recipes I like to use, but the one today I'm going to share is the one that's the most popular with my friends and family when I serve it. And uh, you might be surprised at what the secret ingredient is. You can get uh, canned smoked trout other places, but I like to use the stuff they have at Trader Joe's. Whatever you get, just remember the size uh, will affect the amount of cooking time you need to get these eggs hard cooked or hard boiled. So let's get started. Thanks again for joining me in the kitchen. It's David Domine, the Bluegrass Peasant. I put my eggs straight from the refrigerator into the boiling water, and I find uh, that helps them peel a little easier. But uh, everyone has their own technique, so do what works best for you. And I like to use this nice little silver steak knife I have with a great serrated edge to give it some texture. Uh, look at the nice wavy surface you get. And then you're going to want to process this all until it's very smooth, probably three or four minutes. It's important to make sure uh, you take care of all these chunks of garlic in the mixture. So process it, then scrape down the sides, process again until the deviled egg yolk mixture is perfectly smooth and it'll be easier to pipe that way. And now's the perfect time to taste and see if you need to correct your seasonings. You can add a bit more uh, salt, a bit more hot sauce. Be careful if you add anything liquid though, because you want the mixture to stay nice and firm uh, so it holds its shape as you start piping it in to the egg whites. For the tip on my piping bag, I like to use just a simple round opening about a quarter of an inch to mound in the filling, but you could use um, uh, a different tip if you'd like to swirl it in to create more of a pattern. I like to use chopped fresh parsley. I find that goes very well with the um, smoky trout flavor. Uh, coarsely ground cracked black pepper works well also. But uh, you can use practically anything you'd like for a garnish. Uh, you could sprinkle the egg whites with a bit of smoked paprika and then fill them. I like to use uh, halved Kalamata olives sometimes. That works really well. You could use um, capers. That's a thing I like to use very often as well. Uh, but uh, often parsley works very well for me. Use your imagination. See what you come up with. <laughs> 